Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is to help you set up flaps in your Radio Master TX16S. Now in this uh, tutorial video we're going to show you how to do this when you have two servos. So later on we will do a video on flapperons. So let's switch over to companion first and then we'll take a look at the settings on the radio. First thing we need to do is go and open up companion. So let's go to companion and then we're going to open our recent backup and we're going to open our plane. Now the first thing we need to do is to go to inputs and we need to add the flaps in under inputs I5. So we're going to put flap here and then we're going to say flaps. Now we need to, the switch that I use is switch C. So we're going to pick switch SC, so that's switch C. And then we need to change the offset in here to 100. So the weight is 100 and the offset is 100. And then we need to pick where the switch should be when we have no flaps. And that, in my case, I put the switch forward. So that's SC switch. SC forward. Now that is everything we need to do on that line. We can replicate that line. So if we click, right click, lines, and then say duplicate. And then we'll click that line. We might as well do both lines. Lines, um, duplicate. Okay, now we need to go to the second line down. And this is going to be, I'm setting up two flap levels. So we're going to go into this one. And we are going to change our weight in here to 40, both for the weight and for the offset. Okay, and then the switch, the switch now will be in the middle position. Okay, and that's everything we need to do there. Okay, now the next line, we are going to go down to the weight and in here we're going to put 60 and the offset should be zero. Okay, and the switch now will be SC in the back position. So that will give us the most amount of flap. Okay, then we click OK. Now we need to move on to mixes. We click mixes. We are gonna to go to the first line, double click. And in here, we need to look for the source, which should be the flaps. If we go down, you see we now have a new input, flaps. Okay, and here we need to just change that. That's all we need to do. That's everything. Now we need to copy that line. So we're gonna left click, right click, say copy, and then go to here, right click and paste. Now, all we need to do in here is change this weight to a minus. You may need to alter this to make the first one plus a minus and then the second one. It depends on the orientation of the servos within your wing. It depends on how, what position and how they were put in. So you would have to test this once you actually put, uh, implement this on your aeroplane. Now let's simulate this to see if it's working. We're going to hit the simulator button. Okay. Okay. Then we can hit the model button and we're going to hit the model button again. Now we set the flaps up on switch SC. So if we pull S SC down, you can see there's the flaps down at 60%, at 40 and forward they're off. So 40 and 60. So there we go, you can see that the flaps would be working correctly. As I say, it depends on the, the way that you've installed the servos, whether the mixes have to be a plus or minus. While we're here, why don't we set up some sounds for our flaps? Okay, we're gonna close this window. We're gonna to go to special functions and we're gonna add a track. So we could, we are going to go to SC forward. We're gonna play a track. And here, if we go down to F, we can choose that would be flap up so flaps up 
So that would mean that they're back in the normal position. Then we can go to SC in the center position. Now we could make here a special sound, so it says the degrees. There are other ways of, of doing this where you use global variables and then it reads the global variables that you set up, but that, that's going to come in a, a, a video along the way. I will uh, show you how to do that. But for now, let's pick play sound, play track, rather. Then we're going to click here and we're going to go down again. So we can do flaps one. Flaps one. And then SC back. Play track. Flaps two. Flaps two. And there we go. Now we've got sound. So let's go back into simulation. Reset. Hit the model button. Hit the model. <laughs> hit the model button again. And then we go. And there we go, that's the settings for flaps in Companion. And then you could just restore these um, models back to your radio so that you'll be able to use them. But now what we're going to do is switch over to the radio and I'm going to show you the settings in the radio itself, just in case you don't want to use Companion. Now let's take a look at the settings for flaps on the TX16S. Now we're going to hit the model button and we're going to go page across and then you can see the flap entries. So let's just go through them. You can see I've put the input line as flap, the line name as flaps. I've picked my switch I want to use, which is this one. You see the weight on the first line is 100% and the offset is 100%. And then the switch in the full position. So that would be normal flaps. So if we go back and we push enter, oops a daisy. Push enter and edit. Then we've got flaps. We just copied this the same way we did in the companion program. But here the weight is 40%. The offset is 40. And then the switch is in the middle position. There we go. Okay. And then we go to the final line of the inputs. And there you can see it's flap, flaps, switch is SC. It's 60%, but this time offset is zero, and the switch has to be in the back position. Okay, then we move on to mixes, and in the mixes, we push edit on the first line. I've just picked the source, which is flaps, um, and that's the uh, inputs. Then the weight is 100%, and everything else will be default. And we go into the second line, and you can see there it's again the source is flap, and the now I put a minus weight. Now, as I said earlier in the video, you may have to change that, but we're gonna I'm gonna put it onto my test rig and we'll see if everything works okay. Now let's take a look at the sounds. So we go to special functions, and you can see the sounds are set up there. And now we can check that our channels are working correctly. So we hit the model button and then we go flaps one. So you can 40, flaps two. 60. So flaps back to 40 one. and flaps then up. no flaps. And there we go. That's the settings on our radio for conventional flaps. Okay, so we're on our test rig. Let's move the, ah, you see now that's, should be 40% flat and that should be 60. They're going the wrong way. Like I described in the video, you will have to go and change the mixes and swap them around from uh, either a minus or a plus. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Let's put them back into the center. And I'm in the mixes. Right, now let's try again. There we go, 40% flap, 60% flap. Back up again. And you can see that the settings are working. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends. 
Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.